Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on introduction to R programming for clinical SAS programmers. In this series, we are exploring SAS programming feature equivalents in R Tidyverse package. In this video, we will see how to obtain frequencies. So we sometimes we need to fetch the number of records within each unique value present in a particular variable. So how do we do that? So let's say we have this input data set in which there are three rows. One record corresponds to a male student and there are two records corresponding to female student students. So we want to sometime count the number of records within each unique value of a variable. So here the unique values in the six variable are M and F. So we want to get the number of records with that particular value so which will be equivalent to the total number of females and total number of males so here in this case so if we have one record per student so we with this summary we will know how many number of females are there and how many number of males are there so how do we do this in SAS so again there could be multiple ways of doing this in SAS but one approach is to use the frequency procedure which is PROC freak. So for that what do we need to do is we need to specify the name of the input data set that the freak has to use and we use that using data is equal to option. And then we have a statement called table statement in which we need to specify the name of the variable and we need to use an option called out is equal to to store the frequencies in this data set. So here we are creating a data set called count01 and we are asking procfreak to create a table. So for each unique value of uh, present in the sex variable, how many number of records are there. So that information will be stored here in count01 data set. So we will in this output data set, we will get one row per each unique value present in the input data set. So here we have two unique values one is m and the second one is f so we would have one row per m and one row for f so and we'll have the number of records associated with that in a variable called count so how do we do this in r so we have a function called count in r tidyverse package so which we can use to count the number of records within a variable or a group of variables. So here are we are as we are interested in fetching the number of records within a particular variable unique value. So we just need to specify the name of that variable here as the second argument. So similar to other functions of our tidyverse package, the first argument will always be equivalent to our uh, input data set name. So the input data set here is class and we are we are uh, asking the count function to fetch the frequencies based on the unique values of sex variable. So let us now see what if we are interested in fetching the frequencies based on more than one variable. So here we have data for around five students, Alfred, Alice, Barbara, Henry and James. So earlier we were interested in seeing how many number of males and females were there. So but here in this case we are interested in checking how many number of males and females are there and along within an age group. Or if the question is how many number of students are there within an age group and a gender. So here we are interested in fetching the frequencies based on the combination of values in sex and age variable. So we will get the one record for each combination present in the data for f uh, the sex variable and age so here if we see we have a combination of male 14 female 13 and male 12 so we'll get one record for that combination which is present in the data and then in the count variable we'll have the number of records present in that combination so how do we do this in uh, SAS. So it's just basically an extension of the previous one. So whenever we want a combination of values, record count for a combination of values, so we just need to specify the names of the variables with an asterisk in between. So which is we are asking for a cross tabulation between sex and age variable. So in the output data set, we'll have variables called sex, age and the variable for count. In, proc, uh, in SAS, we also get a variable for percent, but we are not covering that as part of this video. So if we want the record count, we can just use this syntax of cross tabulation for the two variables. So how do we do this in R? 
so it's again basically an extension of the previous code so all we need is to specify the list of variables as the second and third arguments so if we want a third variable so we'll just list after the age and here in this case we would just list the third variable after age with an asterisk in between so here we can just separate the variables separated by comma after the name of the input data set which is the first argument for the count function so let us now see the demo for this so the first requirement is one way frequency we need to fetch the values or uh, for our sex variable from class data set and the second one is for uh, sex versus age from class one data set so let us use proc freak so we need to specify the name of the input data set so we are doing this for our one way frequencies so we need to use the table statement as we are interested in the record count based on a single variable we just need to list that variable on the table statement as we want the counts to be stored in a new data set we can just specify the name of that output data set using out is equal to option on the table statement so i'm just trying to execute this piece of code so let's try to see what is happening in the count 01 data set so i have count 01 data set here i have my record count f there were two records so we have two in the count variable and there was one male student so we have one so here in addition to the count variable we also get the percent variable but we are not interested in this percent variable as of now so let us now complete the two-way table as well with the proc freak all that we have discussed is to add age variable but separate that with an asterisk in between so let's call the output data set as count 02 let us execute this piece of code and then try to open the count 02 data set so we'll now open this one so we now have i think the input data set was supposed to be changed to class 1 so let us change that so let us re-execute the code and then open counts 02. So here if we see F13 there are two students, M12 there is one student and M14 there are two students. So this is how we can fetch one way and two way frequencies in SAS. So how do we do it in R? So let us do that. So let's create that count 01 data set by using count function. So for first uh, one way frequency we use the input data set class and then as we need to fetch the frequencies of only one variable which is sex so we just need to list that as a second argument so let us run this entire piece of code and then take a look at our counts 01 i think i have made a typo let's remove all of these things from environment and then run the entire piece of code once again so let us open count 01. So it is similar to the output which we have seen with the proc freak. So one thing to note here is that the default variable for storing the counts in SAS was count. Here it is n. So let us now update the piece of code and try to get the two-way frequency for sex and age variable from class 1 data set. And let's name the output data set as count 02. So all I need to do is just list the variable age after six with a comma in between so let's execute this line of code and then take a look at our count zero two f13 there were two m12 one and m14 two so we get a record for each combination of sex and age values in the n variable we need we'll get the total number of records present with that combination of values in sex and age variable on that particular row so this is how we can fetch frequencies in both SAS and R. Thank you for watching and keep learning.